<laughs> but look, I don't slap salmons. <laughs> bacon pancakes, making bacon, bacon, bacon pancakes. pancakes. Take some bacon and I'll put it in a pancake. Bacon, bacon pancakes, pancakes, that's what it's gonna, gonna make. Bacon, bacon pancake. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. This week it's all about them sugary based treats that we love, pancakes. Check out this clip at Sinclair and Rush where I think their products are good, like, good enough to eat. Gina, Gina, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm using the pick and mix, help yourself. She's right in one aspect, pick and mix. It's not sweet, so. What, what is it? It is plastic, well, caps, inserts, things like that. And so, look, manufactured a number of different ways. Dip moulding, I've not seen that before personally. Extrusion, you know what that is, pushing it through. Injection moulding, so you've got your big tools there. And custom, now I'm thinking custom parts, it's going to be expensive, but these are the guys to do it if you want it. But you've got loads of different things, what are they? Uh, plugs. That's one, like these ones. Yeah. Use for masking, little silicon ones. Oh right, okay. And? Bicycle. Handles, yeah. Handles. Fork handles, you did that the other week on the social show. Yes, I did. Wow, and what about this thing? This looks like one of those toys. It's not one of those toys from the 80s. I didn't know you're old enough, but this is you made a nice component, you pop it in it. <laughs> I'm stuck with her all day. This, make a nice component, you want to protect it, bit of netting, that's it. So, on to the next one. Well, there you go, Sinclair and Rush creating products to protect your products, but also look like really tasty snacks. Yum, yum. Okay, so now for something that definitely isn't tasty. Let's head over to Colin for our awesome blast from the blast. It's on a Herco EDM, which is super rare and they don't make them like this anymore. So check this out. Last from the past this time is, and I've not seen one of these before, a Herco. So you're thinking mill lathe. Well, no, Iglide EDM. I'm not going to profess to know what all these controls are, but I do know a man who does. Still in regular use, use this machine. Talk me through it, please. Right, so this is a manual sparker. It's a great little machine. Um, very, uh, a machine that needs a lot of skill, to be honest. Uh, oh, talk yourself up there, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's still, like I said, still in regular use, so what will you actually do with it? Uh, so this would use mainly for repairs because uh, the machine is uh, manual. You can kind of like feel the job. Right, can you just get, get the machine moving here with your... So, yeah, so you've got your, your X and your Ys, so you can manually move this around. This would be for more one-offs, uh, repair jobs if we've had to weld up a, a mould tool and we can like fettle it into the edge. Right. Um, you can actually feel that sparking, so you're in control of it. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. and you can control the, the, the powers to get the finish you want because sometimes the finish is a worn finish because it's been moulded and... Uh, you know, I mean, if I wanted like a 24 VDI, but it isn't a 24 VDI, it's worn, then I can right. fettle the controls to, right. to match what was originally. Just quickly, what are these controls here, very quickly? So you've got the, uh, you've got the powers, how much powers, you've got the on and off, you've got the speed of the head, you've got uh, the polarity, if you can dwell, all the powers, depending on how you have the head pulsating. Brilliant. All that kind of stuff. Absolutely fantastic. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal your thunder here because I can control this one. So if you get a shot in here, please, Chris, my cameraman, ready for this one? This. Beautiful. Just filling up the envelope there. There you go. David, master of EDM on your Herco EDM spark eroder. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. Oh my God, Colin, what are you doing? MTD muff, CNC ticker. You know that you belong to network, mate. You know your place is right here on this fantastic nameless show. What are you doing? You know that marketing is gonna have a complete crazy over what you're doing right now. And I am marketing and I'm going crazy. What are you doing? Brand? is important and you need to learn to respect it. This week on Gina Asks, it's all about side mount tool changes. Paul breaks this down for us in just under a minute. This is an educational video discussing the benefits of a side mount tool changer on a VMC. For this video, we're using a Dali 1060 MCV machining center from Ward High Tech. Now tool changes on these types of machines generally tend to be either the umbrella type, which sit in this plane, with the tools underneath it, or side mounted as we have here on this Dali machine. The benefit of the side mount tool changer means you can get more tools on the tool changer or in the carousel. It's also less likely to get contamination on the tools because they're tucked out of the, the working uh, environment. 
and also the tool changes tend to be faster and for more high performance machine tools when they're in the side mount position. This has been an educational video on side mount tool changes. So before we get on to the network news, check out this, I don't know how to say it, Termley's C400 in action. This footage was taken at Steel Fab in Dubai. Welcome to Network News. Breaking news. We are in need of anybody who needs our parts or components manufactured. We need your drawings immediately. The industry is in an epidemic crisis and we need your drawings. Please send them to the network immediately and hopefully we'll be able to save thousands of engineers starved of drawings. And in other news, Wilbur have invested in a Herco TM8I turning centre. The guys at Monarch Precision have joined MTDU Network, not just to get some more inquiries, but also to enable them to showcase what they manufacture and branch out to a new and bigger audience. They have a great machine shop hosting both milling and turning capabilities. This gives them the ability to manufacture some high specification components, including F1 parts. It also gives them access to a range of engineers who could easily assist with areas that they don't currently have the capabilities for. Well, that's it from me this week. I hope that you keep asking and, keep, and you will keep learning. See and see you later. Wow. I can't see a thing. <laughs>